Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here, and today we're going to look at three different orange types of Porcelio Scaber, and we're going to examine the differences between each type. First of all, let's look at Orange Koi. Here are two specimens of Orange Koi. You can see there's some white markings on the orange background in both of them. The larger one, near the top of the screen, has a lot more white. It's a it's a more high expression individual, you might say, in that it, there's a lot of contrast in this specimen. And then the one on the bottom has less contrast. One characteristic of Koi is that a lot of times the different colors on different parts of their bodies sort of bleed into one another. They're, they're not very clean cut. They are a really beautiful isopod and uh, they're fairly popular in the hobby for good reason. The audio from this section of the video disappeared inexplicably, so I'm redoing it. These are, of course, the favorite orange Dalmatian. This morph has several different origins because it was produced by different people in somewhat different ways. So I'm not sure if uh, this stock originates from the Ryan Orr stock or the Alan Gross stock or the stock that I produced, or maybe it's a mixture. Um, hard to say. But more recently, this stock came to me from Chet. They are quite variable. You can see that there's one specimen that has a pretty light white background, dark eyes, and just some small orange flecks. And then you can see other specimens that have uh, quite different coloration, a very variable form. Some of them have very little orange coloration at all. And here are a couple more specimens with some more markings. This was the best I could do with just a short time, just looking. You can see there may be a little bit more orange than the other one was. These are also a beautiful isopod, really fun for their variability, although sometimes you'll get some with very little coloration on them. And there's the fact that some of them have the almost white background like this one, and some have it's sort of a, the speckles are so small that they sort of blend in and, and make it a sort of a dimmer color with less contrast, maybe, if that's a good way to say it. But they're a beautiful isopod, really fun as well. Now this is so far my favorite of the orange and white Porcelio Scaber. This is Porcelio Scaber Orange Pied, and this is a really nice specimen here with the midsection pretty white and the both the head and the tail area just very orange. Clean cut pattern, fairly symmetrical, looks really nice. And this other specimen here, <coughs> From the same stock but it just looks like a normal orange like a spanish orange or there's there's really no visual difference between that and just the normal spanish orange one of the original isopods in the hobby and from what i understand that's where this stock is descended from across from piebald uh, or i guess it's called sometimes piebald and sometimes orange pied but it's anyways the orange form of it crossed with stock that was collected in the U.S. that just had the gray and white markings and then crossed with the Spanish orange. I believe that's that's where this comes from. As they age, the, the pattern tends to change. So this one is a younger individual, maybe only about half adult size. And as it ages, it'll have a fairly crisp pattern for a while and then that pattern will tend to fade a little bit. It'll still be there, but it won't be as clean cut. And now this the one on top of it is totally obscuring pattern, so you can't see it. The pattern won't be as clean cut as it uh, gets older. At least that tends to be the what happens. But beautiful isopods, as are they all. Just wanted to uh, kind of showcase the differences between all three types. The orange koi, orange dalmatian, and orange pied or orange piebald. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.